you know. Um, <laughs> Priest Isaac is one of the social media influencers. You know, he does online schooling classes. You know, he's a Scientologist. He, he knows a lot. He, he has a vast scope of knowledge. So without ado, I would ask Priest Isaac to take the mic. Yes, my family, blessed love to each and everyone. It's a joy. Thanks to the life given, the keep of life. Holy Manuel I, Selassie I, Ja, Rastafari. And um, let me just say, um, Brother Daniel, I won't be sharing, doing any screen sharing again, as I previously kind of mentioned. Um, well, again, it's a joy to be in the midst of each and everyone. And I would just like to make a quick... Um, announcement as such before I go into the midst of what I want to go into. Today, the angle I'm going to take it from really is more on a personal level. Um, I know we're speaking a lot of unity and it, of course that is very important, but um, when it comes to economics, there's so many different aspects of it, eh? trust me. And uh, But we'll just go into it in the 15 minute that we have here. But as I said, prior to that, I just want to make this announcement and um, I recently, family, did a video that um, was somewhat uncomfortable to some within our community. Now, I can say that I honestly did that video, I think, with a genuine heart um, in defense of something that really touched me in the first place. But I never expected it to reach to a specific point. Now, I have taken down that specific video. I, I will re-edit it and put it back because it has a lot of value within it. And I am humbly just asking because some of those who were offended were even my elders. So I'm humbly just asking those who may have been touched, if you want to say the wrong way, to please pardon myself for such. Um, this is not something I want to act as if I'm defending myself with. I really know where I stand on what I presented, and I will leave it at that. But it's all about unity, and even lives are at stake here. So within love and Rastafari, it's just salamta and peace, and I think the trade moves on. Now, what I want to do today, you're going to have to somewhat interact with me a bit, because I said we're going to be talking about self-evolution, and foundation building of empire. Now, this interaction is just at the beginning, really. I want everyone to do something with me. You're going to have to roll up your sleeves, eh? So you're going to show me your hand. Well, you don't have to show me. You don't have to put on your camera. Definitely don't put on your mic because we're going to all get confused. Now, when you look at your hand, you see this line here? Uh, scientifically, I cannot tell you the name, but we all have it here where, where you can bend your wrist. Now, that line, obviously, both, both hands or both wrists would have it. Now, what I want you to do, this is serious, eh? and it's um, um, the economy we're talking about. I would like you to align them together. So make sure that they're lined up with each other and clasp your hands with them being aligned. Follow me good, eh? So that means when you clasp your hands now, one of your your hands might be longer than the other, or they may be the same. Well, whether they're longer or they're the same, what you're going to do, you're going to take the shorter one. So if they're the same, just take one. If one is shorter, even if it's by an inch or half an inch, take the shorter one. So, so this would be my shorter one. So I'm going to take this hand, which they call the left hand, we call it the hatical hand. Now, what we're going to do here, this is very serious. I want you to concentrate on the hand and you are going to make the hand grow. Some of you may have seen me done this before. Maybe you never took part. I want you to take part now. So what I'm going to do, eh, I'm going to tell the hand to grow. But I'm not just going to say hand grow for me. I'm going to continually repeat with feeling. You have to put feeling to it and, and, and address the hand. You got to look at the hand. You know, put your energy in the hand. Be serious with the hand as if you're disciplining your child. And let the hand understand. We don't have no time to play here. This is time for you to grow. So when I say grow, 
you're going to repeat after me and say grow. I don't have to hear you. I know you're saying it. Don't unmute your mic. So when I say grow, you're going to say grow. As we're going to put it, you know, energy, you know, grow. I said you must grow. Listen, Han, this is not the time to play with me. Grow. Listen, look at all these people in front of us. I said to grow. Put in your accent, boy, you know, he almost say, grow. You see me? Grow. This is important. You need to grow, get bigger, and grow. Han, grow. All right, that might be enough. You think that's enough, my lord? Okay. <laughs> so what you're going to do now, you take the same technique we did before, and you align the areas, the, the two lines, put them together, take a timer, and clasp your hand. Wow, that got long. <laughs> I'm telling you. And, and yeah, yours got long too. And my son with me here. And I mean, I am positive that there's anyone in the audience that did that. You would have noticed that your hand, even if it's a half an inch, would have moved and grew. Now, some would say, well, maybe it didn't really grow. It was some sort of, you know, optical illusion. Hey, listen, even if it was an optical illusion, whatever it was, smoke and mirrors, I don't know. The point is, you put your mind to work and you told your hand, you know, remember, this is not X-Man and stretch, big, big man stretching his hands, you know, you're a human being, your bones, your ligaments, your muscles, they're in a specific space. And you use your mind and you look at your hand within a two minute space and allowed it to move even if it's for a half an inch. Now, what I'm saying there is that during this presentation today, a few people spoke about Sister Ima. And let me say, every, everyone's presentation was top notch to me. You know what I mean? Give thanks, Sister Ima, for such a spiritual presentation or spirited. Well, spiritual too, but spirited was the word I was really looking for first. Presentation, you know, the, the fullness thereof. I don't want to go down the line, my, my good brethren, I just start. <laughs> you know, don't take it the wrong way, my lord. They yeah, are very pretty, eh? Yeah, you just glow up the whole scene when it came on. It looked like a little child there, you know, and, and, and the information just came out smooth and give thanks for all those, you know, Brother Daniel and, and, and everyone in the midst of us. Now, what I'm saying is that we were talking about what? the power of thought, you know, the, in, the, 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 the way that we think, you know, this is where we need to go. Yes, we need to come together uh, and we're not taking away nothing, you know, because we're all coming together with different points. We need to come together. We need to pull our resources together. Yes, but before we pull our resources together, we ourselves personally need to check our inner selves and build our resources as, as well so we have something to pull together. As Brother Daniel says, we are already on the food, clothes, shelter, and the pain bills thing. We can't get away from that. Don't feel happy like if you can do that. Give thanks you could do that. The point is you're, you're supposed to be able to do that for you and at least 10 other people. I mean, at least 10 other people. So this is why now we have to think about the power of thought again. What you conceive you can achieve. You can write it down if you have to. What you conceive, you can achieve. Thoughts become things. I'm going to say that again. Thoughts become things. So it's the mind frame. It's, it's how you have yourself. It's what you see for your future, what you see about your own self. So this is why now we promote a lot of affirmations. Some people say affirmations don't work, and they're correct. They don't work. What they just did, they affirmed in their self that affirmations don't work. So it ain't going to work because you just said it as it's not going to work. But if you say it's going to work, it will work. You understand? So what's an affirmation? That's when you affirm within yourself your qualities. So this is something, as, as one of the brethren said, we do an international homeschool class. At the end of every homeschool class, we have a specific affirmation that we make the young ones say. What's the affirmation? I am the best and I deserve the best and only the best is coming to me now. Now you say that every day. You know, you can say it even in your spare time, just repeating it to yourself. It's not ego, you know. Remember, we are the ones that say we are all gods and Selassie dwell in us now. And well, if Selassie dwell in you now and Selassie is the best, 
you're supposed to see yourself as the best. I am the best and I deserve the best. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. Again, don't get egotistic with it. You know, you don't have to push it on nobody. You know? I'm only acting so because we're here together. You know, but this is my own private business, but we're just sharing the love. But within myself, I would look in the mirror and tell myself that, that I am the best and I deserve the best. And only the best is coming to me now. So, so that is something that's naturally within Rastafari, you know. You know, as the honorable priest Dougie is here, priest, honorable priest Dougie could tell you, even as Bobo Shanti, even if a man having a so called bad day and you say, My Lord, how is it? The man will tell you, My Lord, blessed, everything is well, do give thanks for life that come before. Eh? And then you might say, Hey, listen, I have a little problem here. Nothing wrong to speak about your problems, eh? but, but, but you cannot identify yourself with your problem. What's identifying? I am. I am, eh? That's what the name of God is. He said, he told Moses, I am. So when you tell somebody, I am mad. Mad? You are mad. There is some mad. You see, remember, we, as Rastafari, eh? we are the ones that took the language and started to, you know, turn it around. Understand became overstand. A coming back became a coming forward because we knew that there was powers in the words. So we know those of us, because we're the one that started that process, you know, the, the breaking down the etymology of the words. Now it's Rasta start that. Eh? Now you see people doing a thing, but it's we start that. I and I start that. Huh? So, so the fact that we know that, that means that we have to be careful of how we speak about things. You understand? So, so uh, you overstand. So in other words, now, you would notice when you speak to someone and they give you a bad story. Again, how are you? Boy, things bad, you know, me try fine. You see, the moment you start to speak like that, you notice you bend down, you lean up because you are putting a weak energy within yourself. But the moment you say, man, everything is good. It's never been better. Right now, I'm ready to conquer. It just encourages you to big up your chest. So this is why now the point I'm making in all of this, remember, we just made our hand grow. The point I'm making in all of this is that we're supposed to think big. Big, big, big. You're thinking about the next car you want to buy? What about the next jet plane? Boy, Ross, that too big. What do you mean that too big? You know how much, you know how much money it costs to keep that on the airport? Why? Well, build an airport then. We need to think big. No disrespect, you know. But even within the construct of, of like the meeting we're having today, you know, when I read the, the, the headline there at the bottom, it said, headline at the bottom, but it said, um, with emphasis on small and medium-sized businesses. No, we have the power of thought. We shouldn't emphasize on small and medium-sized business. We have to think big Big business, billionaire brackets. Remember now, we are talking about freedom, redemption, and international repatriation. We're not talking about cooking a pot. So, so I don't, millions can't do that, honorable family. Millions cannot do that. In any currency you call, millions cannot do that. Billions. I know, tell me I'm overdoing because I have people on the planet that have billions. So what's wrong with us? There are people that have private jets. So what wrong with us? I mean, if, if you think having a private jet is off the chain, well, you shouldn't have a car there. To me, you shouldn't even wear your shoes. Straight up. You understand? So we should, we're supposed to be thinking triple X in a sense, although we kind of burn X, you know, but you know what I mean? The triple R, if you want, want, want to put it like that, you know? And as, as I mentioned, that's still, you know, again, Give thanks to the elders, because one of the things the Honorable King Emmanuel teach us is that real self-reliance, you know. You know, you know, my heart leap when I saw Sister Ima present the whole thing of the flag and 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 mystically all the banners you see bubble fly, you know. And and this is not no thing about the flag and who have different flag, you know. What I'm saying is, is bubble make their own flag? Is I and I saw our flag and paint uh, the flags now, all the pretty bubble flags you see. Is I and I personally make them. So, so, so give thanks. We can't fall away from what the elders have already taught us. Now, let me look to kind of quickly get this, you know, to the point and seal up here. Now, one of the things I, I really want to highlight too is that our goals now, remember, we undermine our goals should be, you know, should be clear. You know, I personally, every morning, I mean, I can show you, eh? This ain't even, 
every morning, well, this is a new book, but every rising in the morning, we wake up and we just write what we're supposed to do for the day. And when it's done, we just take it off. It should just be a natural thing that you have the list of things that you need to do for the day and click them off when you have to do them because, or when it's done, because that will keep you, you know, you know, account, give you an account of what you're doing. So you should have, of course, the goals for the day. You should have weekly goals. You should have a goal for the end of the year and you should have an ultimate goal. And to me, one of the, 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 the aspects of the ultimate goal should be financial freedom. I'm going to repeat, remember, collectively, we're supposed to be building a nation. A nation is, is government with ministries, educational structure, as the prophet was saying there about building Martha and Brick in Africa. Uh, um, education system, health system, our ministry, um, theological ministry, you know what I mean? That's what I'm talking about. We are supposed to be able to take acres of land, build a gated community, and literally govern ourselves in it, just like some of these little countries like the kingdom of, or the kingdom near in South, in the middle of um, Azania. Um, uh, Sw Swaziland? Swaziland. Yeah, there, yeah, yes. Yeah. Like Swaziland is like a little country inside of a big country. We suppose they can niche out a country and build an empire that will just, you know, mesmerize the whole world because Rastafari making money. Now, remember now, this is another thing. This is deep because economy is not just money and buying and selling. It. We are living in a world where it's an, e an economic war as well. If you really going into this, you have to understand the banking system. You have to understand the origin of the banking system. You have to know that the bank, there's no bank that's your friend, eh? Trust me. Well, not as it, maybe you know a black bank that I don't know of that is really working with us. I wouldn't, maybe I should be careful how I say that. But we know in general, the banking system, you know, is not our friend. It's, it's from the banks of Africa, the banks of the River Nile, where civilization began. That's where they get the term bank. But when you put your money in the bank, you know, man, what really happens is that that's why when you put 20,000 and you go back for 10, they tell you, um, you can only get five, come back for the other five in the next two months. How that happened? Because your money has gone into investing, somebody else make another bank. That's what it is. So we have to think of financial freedom, not cash, but cash flow. What's also important too, I think an individual personally, you have to check the people that you are around. You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. That's no, 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 You can't run away from it. You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. And you can only fly as high as the people around you can think. That's very important. So if you're seeking knowledge, you have to be around the people that have knowledge. If you're the most knowledgeable in your crew, not wrong with that, but you need a new crew. You know, you need a crew where you are at the bottom of the crew. So those above you will help you climb up. You know, so again, if you're a millionaire, join the billionaire crew now. You know, be amongst them and climb up and get there. I'm very serious, you know. You see, this is the mind frame. I know I'm talking and there are people that are afraid, got afraid money, you know. I'm sure some of you, you have done a business and when you have seen the business ready to blow up, you know, maybe it blew up and you have already harnessed it and that's good. But I'm sure you could remember just before you saw the fruits ready to ripe, there was a feeling inside of you of maybe fear because of what you are accustomed to, you know? Let me show you the next example, quick, quick, quick. Uh, which one I should show you? Fold your arms, fold your arms. Okay, no, no, I'm sure you just naturally folded your arms. Now, if you notice, eh, when you fold your arms, one arm is over the other arm. You could fold it two ways, you know? You could fold it however you folded it, or you could do it the other way. Now, if you were to just try the other way, it's easy to do, but you will feel a bit uncomfortable because all the years you're accustomed to four arms, bam, and you just did it. Do it the other way now. Okay, you can do it, you know, but I've, I've done that to people and you can see them trying to fix it in. The point I'm making is that we are afraid of change. Trust me, believe me, we are afraid of change. So when we see change coming, sometimes we get a little scared. And so now we have to get over that. So we need goals. We need to set our goals. Um, and your goal should be bigger than you can even reach. You know what, I mean? what are you talking about? If you want to hit an arrow, um, we call it thing a bullseye, archer. You can't aim at the bullseye and let go the arrow. You're going to drop below. You have to aim higher than the target. 
So, so, so the gravity and whatever will bring the arrow to the point. So you are supposed to be able to say, hey, listen, I'm supposed to be able to make 2,000 US dollars a day. Again, somebody around you are going to say, boy, you know, think your thing too big. $2,000 a day. That's thinking. What's wrong with you? What kind of nation you can move on $2,000 a day? So again, this is why I'm saying we have to think big. One last thing here now. A couple things, you know, but in the interest of time. Yeah, a couple of things. So, I mean, if you have a business, remember, promotion is very important. Promotion. You could have the best product in the world. The best product in the world. Eh? But if nobody knows about it, you know, you know, people just become people say, boy, please you sell too much. A business bubble. I, I love that title. Every bubble should be a business bubble. We ain't begging, it's not beg, we begging nobody, ain't nothing. I like to tell people that we don't beg, we don't even ask for donations. We have books, we have several ebooks. We have videos, we have um, online classes that we do, webinar, we have homeschool classes that we do. What else we do? As my Lord said, we ship out chalices, we work with the Honorable King, you know, networking with the chalice internationally too. What else we sell people? We have a couple of things. Uh, I'll get a little thing. We have an um, international um, nightly radio program that we have. Oh, we do international hikes. We have our our um our summer sauce this coming up in June. Man, there's no time to play around. You're supposed to fill yourself with things to do. That's what the Empress said. Make sure you do enough things. Do as much things as you can. I'm paraphrasing. I don't have it exactly. I'm not one of them man that can kick the Empress speech word for word. But I know the Empress say, do as much things that you can do. Could have a man for everything. Do as much things as you can do so that you'll be sure that you do as much as you can. That's basically what he's saying, and I'm encouraging everyone to do that. The last thing, um, I think it's very easy for us to formulate an, a dollar a week program. That's something I've spoken of before. Very easy, especially in this time with Cash App and Zelly and these little things where you can actually send somebody a dollar. I mean, we need to start to trust each other, man. I mean, it's so bad we be. Eh, that that we can't get that here. That's like, oh, who can hold the money? And this man, boy, that man does do this. Oh, boy, up to now, man. We supposed to. If you have 500 of us, Rastafari internationally, number one, we need to have a plan and know that this is what the money is going to be used for. And once we have that plan and we start to put a dollar a week, just a dollar, no, no not two dollar, no five dollar. We're not trying to overdo. We know that every human being, so even a beggar, Suppose they can give you a dollar a week. So what's a dollar a week amongst 500 people? That's $2,000 a month. In a year, you have $24,000. You don't have to touch it. This is not box or susu. Nobody getting back nothing. We make it go and accumulate. And then with, with, with 24 times three, say you give it three years, four, four, eight, 12, that's what, $72. That's how you go, $72,000. Then now, do we, then we go to the plan we had. The plan may have been creating factories or whatever. And we give employment to those of us who are need employment internationally. Now I'm talking very fast because I know I'm sealing up, but I think if we can coordinate something like that, internationally amongst Rastafari, you no, know, you don't have to worry about Bobo Bingy or nothing, man. We can work together with that. We can create a system. The, the, as you say, the, the intelligent ones amongst us formulate a plan that will, a, a $75,000 plan. And within three years, 500 of us, a dollar a week, we can do that. I don't, I don't know what excuse we have from that one day. Give thanks, life give and keep up life. Holy man, it will lie. Selassie, I, ja, Rastafari. All right. Yes, Kingson, give thanks for that. Very inspired presentation. Yeah, there them can hear and see, you know, is a teacher, you know, so. I and I need to be good students and learn from the teacher because he